what's up guys and welcome to a new episode here on Shades of Tech. If you're new to the channel and you don't know me, my name is Fabrizio but you can call me Fabri. For full disclosure I want to make clear that yes, some of the product features in this video were sent after my explicit request, so thank you to all the brands that support this channel, but other products were bought with my own money. Regardless, now I not paid the sponsor in any way by them, and as always all the opinions in this video are my own. Also remove all the monetization from this YouTube video, so if you appreciate that, leave a big like and subscribe with the bell icon on. As you probably know, Studio and Dust Tour have been the most popular videos on the channel, and to be honest, also my favorite to make. My setup has greatly improved in the last two years, and at the beginning of 2020, I thought I finally built my perfect dream setup. Well, I was wrong. Then lockdown came in and I started to feel some limitation of the single monitor setup and the 2013 Mac Pro, so I decided to start from scratch and make big improvements both from design and hardware. That said, I really can't wait to show you because it's clean but it also overkill. And as always, I try to include all the product links in the description in case you wanted to check them out. But without any further ado, let's jump right in the setup itself. It wouldn't be a best setup without the desk itself, which actually is the only thing that I didn't change from last year. The beautiful mirage table, Italian made glossy white top, walnut wood legs that blend in perfectly with the studio and the mood. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but it's all worth it. I just love it and it's wide enough to fit this gigantic setup. Actually, it's a table, not a desk setup. This year I tried to change the studio configuration, moving the Alex drawer behind in order to free all the legs and the space below the desk and give a more open look and this is what I was looking for. I'm really proud of the cable management because it seems almost floating with no wires in the air and I think it's really beautiful. Now let's talk about what you are all curious about and yes it's really really big and take up almost all the desk and it's a monitor setup. <laughs> If you remember last year I mentioned that I was planning to upgrade to a, from a 16x9 to a 21x9 monitor, well I might have gone a little bit overkill and I ended up getting a 49 inch 49 inch super ultra wide monitor from Samsung and it's really stunning. The spec list is pretty high end and it checked all the boxes for me, huge display, 49 inch, 5120 by 1440p resolution, HDR 1000, 120Hz refresh rate. It gives a great immersion and it's perfect for both productivity since it's like two 1440p 27 inch monitors side by side but without the bezel in the middle and you can literally fit three to four vertical pages and of course for video editing you can fit the whole timeline horizontally in one screen and all the controls open at the same time and when I finish editing the videos for this channel it's even better for gaming. But I didn't stop there and I'm rocking also 27 inch 4K HDR display, the LG 27 UK 850W. I reviewed it a few years back, I leave the link to the video. You might be wondering, it's not enough 49 inch of display real estate. Well, yes, but actually no. When I'm editing, I like to have a full resolution output for my videos and this monitor fits perfectly my workflow. I can have a full blown out timeline with all kind of controls, color correction, while displaying a full 4K color graded on the dedicated display. This is definitely the video editor paradise, but the coolest thing is that when I build a studio, I run a very long HDMI 2.0B cable running below the floor to connect to my PS4 Pro, and yes, just a few months ago came in the Xbox Series X and I will get the full 4K60 treatment just above my working space. So cool. 
Do you think it's overkill? Just maybe too much? Let me know in the comments if I should keep it this way or just use a clean single super ultra wide setup. I really like this way. Personally, I think this setup is freaking amazing. Well, the display are well mounted and the cable are managed into the wall and I think the floating style is really, really good and cool. In the last setup I was using a 2013 Mac Pro with the Razer Core X and the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT that is one of the best graphic cards you can get right now for Mac that is featured also in the 2020 iMac full spec configuration but honestly it took a lot of space and it wasn't as clean and as minimal as I wanted so I just decided to go all in to make a bet with the 2020 M1 Mac Mini that I recently unboxed and I was really blown away it runs smoothly both the display and is a charm for video editing all I ever needed basically for one third of the price of my previous setup and the space saving is enormous all running from a small box basically it's the base model with 8 gigs of RAM with just 512 gigs storage upgrade so it was also quite cheap But now let's talk about the accessory that makes this desk setup so cool. If you have a Mac Mini, the absolute must is the Satoshi USB-C stand and hub for Mac Mini in silver. It gives support with USB-A, C, headphone jack, card reader just in the front since the selection in the back is a little bit in limited. I will give this product a 10 out of 10 if it had some ports on the back but it's designed to be a perfect extension of the Mac Mini itself and it seems to be designed by Apple to be honest. To complete the setup I'm using a combo of the Apple Magic Trackpad and the MX Master Gen 3 and it might look stupid but as you probably know scrolling on the Apple Trackpad is so good so why not? The keyboard is the Satoshi Slim X3 Bluetooth keyboard I choose it because it matches the Apple style with aluminum built but also has backlight keys so you can type in the dark without any problem and the key travel is bigger than the Apple Magic Keyboard that I own and taking the typing experience just to another level. Also, like the MX Master, I can sync it up with three other sources that can, I can switch with dedicated keys, really seamless and so I have my iPad Pro and I can just click two buttons and connect the keyboard and the MX Master and use the iPad Pro just on the way. Apple product don't do it, maybe yet. All the lights of this stuff are Philips Hue, so I can control them with the Google Home or sync the mood with the monitor. They are quite flexible and I love them. I've been asked a lot about my chair. It's not an Herman Midler, of course, it's the Citro Contemporary chair from Project X. It's an UK brand that makes great desk chairs. Totally advised. I love the colors, of course, the orange and white combo is great. The build quality is metal and is high, and in those quarantine times it was put to, really to the test, but it's quite comfortable, and uh, I think this was a wise purchase for me. You didn't hear me talking about any audio output because I usually use ANC headphones, I usually use the Apple AirPods Pro because they blend in perfectly with my Apple ecosystem and they are so convenient to switch to device. But right now my daily driver are the Transmart ANC Q10 that I'm currently testing for review and you can imagine that they cost just 50 bucks. Also the combo with the Jogtech stand is a must to match all the walnut wood finish. I really love it. As a microphone, I'm using this small one from Fifine and I like how it looks and reminds me of the Blue Yeti but in a smaller form factor. So I really love it. 
Last but not the least, my 12.9 2018 iPad Pro with Apple Pencil. Love the fact that I can just connect my keyboard and mouse as I told before and use it even if I use more on the go as a replacement for my MacBook Pro. Also I'm using the Timebox Evo from Divoom as a minimal clock and the Lametric clock as a tube live count and you can see it there. I really love it. So this wraps up for today. Let me know what you guys think about this setup. I really love and I think this is the best setup I made yet. Are you considering to make a setup as well? If you have any question, be sure to like, dislike this video, it works as well. Make me some questions in the comments and be sure to subscribe. And as always, stay tuned on Shades of Tech. Ciao!